This is a story about two Kiwis. Meet Dan. Dan enjoys cooler climates and discovering uncharted coastlines. And this is Kate. Kate longs for warmer beaches and endless swell. Come along with us on our journey as we document another way of life. Wednesday, everybody. Finally hit some good wind coming sort of on the 
the Lee of Mir, and we've been averaging about five, seven or five knots, which is pretty good for a H28 like heli. Well, and towing a big tender. Sam's idea. And all the other boats just go and just disappear, and we're just out here doing it, loving every minute of it. We safely made it home after doing the odd jobs to clean up the boat, get back into work, we were well and truly over it. Got a team of friends together and went fishing for the day. This is when Dan and I decided why not go back up to the Coromandel again. We had a great day out fishing. Uh, it was for a fishing contest for my cousin Josh who sadly passed away on the mount. You can see in the background paragliding a few years back. So cheers to Josh, great day out there mate. Back to the marina, we spent the next couple of weeks in preparation before we were going to head up for the long weekend back up to Apedo, another 16 hour trip. Unfortunately this trip didn't end up as well as our last, we'll let you watch to find out what happened. We at it again, woo! Wakey wakey, rising sun! Five thirty. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Just woke up this morning. Went to be heading up the coro and checked the forecast. It's quite a bit different to what we were hoping for. It's about a two meter rolling swell and sort of ten knots southwest, which is straight offshore. We were hoping to get southeast, which is a bit more behind us, but. Um, will mean we'll get a bit more heel and be able to push through the waves, possibly. But there's just a bit of swell out there, so it's normally a day we go surfing. But anyway, let's get into it. Pulls on, next step, coffee. is this consistent rolly short period swell and it's just hitting the side and then we've got this kind of like southwest wind 
right behind us. So it's kind of like this southeast kind of just like so we're like rolling with the swell, but then like we're being pushed by the waves, and it's we're making. Oh, that was a nice piece of ground there. Six knots there. Yeah, we just need the wind but it's to be just, consistent as well. Yeah, just confusing about, hey, comes and goes. Nice, yeah. nice sunrise. Yeah, God of the winds, we hate gusts. Can you just be consistent? <laughs> uh, downwind, a lot of swell low. Currently off Mia. And Dan's feeling epic. Epic. Dan's feeling epic. And we are humming along quite nicely here. Yeah. And we're currently going seven knots and we've been going for five hours and we've made 25 nautical miles. Wow! And they're still I'm swells. telling you. <laughs> and there is a lot of wave action going on. Yeah, Holy <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you can like get that kind of like concept, but a bit of waves. Dan here is doing a great job of steering. Um, because it's, it's, it's pretty swelly. Welcome to another episode of Out at Sea. Now we're out off about Tyro now, I think. And we tried to turn on the engine before and it didn't go, so we now have no engine, but we've got the big wide engines up top. So oh, wave! Wave. Oh. Get up home. But yeah. Fun so, time. Dan's gonna not tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you this. 
I've never seen Dan so pale in my life. <laughs> he, was, he was like just pretending he wasn't sick and I was like, oh, you're feeling a bit off, Dan. And he was like, no, nah, nah, I'm all good. Mind over matter, mind over matter. <laughs> Give it five, white as ghosts. And then he's a bit silent. I'm like, don't worry, Dan. I'll just take over the, uh, over the um, steering. You just, you go sort yourself. <laughs> Um, he won't tell you this, but he was seasick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Something down there. So the boom swings half and then boom back. Oh, yes, oh, really? oh, yeah, off the off the rope. Let's take it over. Right about now, we're up a creek without a paddle. We ended up having to sail all the way around onto the mooring at a pedo. It was a big job, but luckily the winds held out for us. Keep your eyes peeled for next time to find out what ends up happening to our boat. I can tell you it's been a hell of a ride. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>